Wendy was one of a kind. When she wasn't on the air or chasing down a story, she often lent her time and energy to a number of charitable causes. Countless causes out there. News 4's Corey Smith spoke today to some of the organizations that benefited from her gregarious nature and her generosity. Can you guys come up closer so we can, we want to see your faces. To say Wendy Rieger had a big personality would be an understatement. Mental illness happens. It can be just that simple of saying, are you okay? What can I do? That she had a heart to match it is no exaggeration. From people. Oh, I gotta tell you, this is Mookie. To pets. Wendy had so many cherished causes. When a local organization or nonprofit asked for help, she showed up and oftentimes showed out and the only way she knew how. You know, for people who think, oh, cats are aloof, oh, no, no. Uh, she With generosity and compassion. She is so sweet. She was a powerhouse for us. I mean, she helped us save hundreds of lives. Team Cat. Wendy worked tirelessly on behalf of the Humane Rescue Alliance, where unforgettable live shots alongside President and CEO Lisa LaFontaine were critical to the success of NBC's annual Clear the Shelters event. And she knew that this was a real life-saving event for us, that it was make or break time. She would make it fun, but she knew that we had a job to do. At times, that job meant getting dressed to the nines, which Wendy could do with the best of them. She stole the show at the Alliance's 30th Bark Ball even with an unruly crowd. When she started giving her remarks, all the dogs start barking, but um, but she laughed right along with it. She let them have their say. She knew that it was their night. Like any anchor worth their salt, Wendy was at home behind the mic. She was a huge hit. She drew in <laughs> the K's in droves. For more than a decade, she emceed Smile's annual brunch, benefiting area LGBTQ youth. Interim Executive Director Daniel Pinchina says she helped turn the brunch from a small affair to one of the biggest events on the calendar. She brought in energy. And the other thing she did, which which I don't think a lot of people uh, realize, is she also devoted a lot of her own time. Conchina says Wendy's allyship was coupled with action, with a dash of style and grace. I remember vividly the, her on the cover of um, the Washington Blade when she's sort of straddling a drag queen. And, you know, this was not performative allyship. This was This was the real deal. Tonight, local organizations across D.C. are saying farewell and thank you. From Best Buddies VA in D.C., where Wendy was everyone's favorite prom date in 2019, to the Signature Theater, which said they'll miss her vivacious energy and effervescent smile. Because we need to keep light on this. And all of us will, too. Oh, Corey, thank you for, for putting together that piece and, and sharing a part of Wendy's life that so many people don't even know about. Yeah. yeah pleasure. And her passion from everything, like you said, people to pets. And I, I got to see, as you know, um, her on Sunday and Nina was right on her bed. Yeah. Her <laughs> and that was a rescue heard, animal yeah. there. Mine was too. Yeah. And to see those old pictures, she really made her way all around our region with various charities. She did. I often uh, was uh, followed her the next, the following yeah, year, yeah. yes. And, yeah. and the Bark Ball was especially challenging. Right, right. Let me tell you. She's always yeah. been a tough act yeah. to follow. Yeah. Yeah. I've it was, done the same. It was, it, was a pleasure, it was a pleasure knowing her. And really, for us reporter anchor types, I experienced Wendy in two ways, out in the field, which is a lot of our time. So mm -hmm. you only got to see her in passing, especially with the pandemic. Okay. Uh, so that's the thing that I, that's really hard to take is the, the time missed. Yeah. Um, but at the anchor desk, it was the commercial breaks that I will yeah. always I cherish know. with me. <laughs> Things that you can't really repeat on television That's right. um, because you don't want the FCC coming after you. Yeah. But they're one never of a kind. long enough. They are never. They are. They are never <laughs> long enough. How many close calls we had yeah. to Corey? Yeah. Thanks so much. No, my we condolences to you too. I know you. You, you knew her for for such a long time. So right. my heart goes out to you guys. Thank, Thank you very Corey. much.